All right, let's pick up where we left off. I'm not sure why that cut off on us, but that's okay. We can keep going. If you missed the beginning of this problem, then you will want to watch the previous video. But I will do a quick recap. We need to find the area of the entire triangle and then subtract the empty space. So I find the area of the triangle by using my formula A equals one half times base times height. I substituted in 18 for the value of my base, 15 for the value of my height, and then multiplied and determined that the area of the triangle is 135 inches squared. Now I want to figure out the area of this cutout on the inside of my triangle. It's a rectangle, so I want to figure out the area of the base times the height. So 6 times 3, that area equals 18. Now since I have a whole shape that has an area of 135 inches squared and a rectangle with an area of 18 inches squared, I simply subtract the 18 inches squared from the 135 <coughs> to determine that the shaded section of my triangle is 117 inches squared. Problem 10. Find both the exact and approximate circumference. <clears throat> so we're going to be using the formula C equals pi D. On problem 10, I'm given a radius. A radius is not the same as a diameter, but rather it is half the distance of a diameter. So the first thing I need to do is multiply 4.25 times 2. That would give me 8.5. So now I have C equals pi times 8.5. Well, I can't really simplify that anymore. I can just put it in my preferred order. That's my exact answer. In order to find my approximate answer, I take the 8.5 and multiply it by 3.14. 3.14 is my approximate value for pi. And I determined that the approximate answer would be 26.69 meters. Number 11. Diameter is six and a half inches, so C equals pi D. Since my diameter is 6.5, I simply need to plug it in. C equals 6.5 pi. Now to find the approximate again, I take 6.5 and I multiply it by 3.14. So my approximate answer then is 20.41 inches. <clears throat>